Hello everyone, I'm Ubersui, and in this video I've hired a builder to build me an airship. That airship, right there. We will be taking a closer look, but first I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Fiverr. You can find lots of talented people on Fiverr. It's actually where I get most of my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. The thumbnails shown here are made by Neo, who I found on Fiverr. So when I needed a builder for an airship, I took a look around and found MIGs. They claimed they could build anything, even in modded Minecraft. So I sent Migs a message asking if they could build me something with the Crate mod. They said Crate is their favorite mod. Perfect. Because I need an airship, and it needs to have propellers. So after spending $40 and waiting for two weeks, my airship was finally delivered. I loaded up the world they'd sent me, and this is what I saw. Alright, let's take a look at this ship and see what $40 got us. So the build was a little bit delayed. It was supposed to take 10 days, but it took 14 days. But I feel like it was definitely worth it. I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. I mean, just look at these flywheels up here in the front. Oh, the details. Oh, that's so cool. The little propeller here. So I can definitely, definitely see that he fulfilled my requirements of having propellers. And he's definitely making use of the crepe mod. Oh, just look at this, the water wheels inside the, what are these, like turbines or something? That's really cool. Oh, and are these like, oh, these are copycat steps. Oh, to make it more rounded. Oh, that's awesome. I really like that. Oh, and the texture on the wings. That's nice. I love, I love that detail. That's, that's really, really cool. And now we have another intake up here. Some more water wheels. That's nice. Oh, and they're powered by the creative motors. That's fine. I I never specified if it should be survival or creative or anything like that. So I'm definitely happy with that. Oh, look at this fan. Oh, it's like it's an intake for the engine. It's like pulling air in. I love that detail. That's really cool. And I'm guessing it's more creative engines in here. Yeah. Really, really nice though. Ah, and I love that propeller. I mean, it's simple, but definitely, definitely works. I don't know if this is the type of airship I would have designed. Like, it has a very interesting shape, but like, I am super happy with this. Super happy. So, let's have a look around the outside, actually. I guess this is like a little command center. Oh, you can see some gold blocks in there. That's really cool. We'll definitely take a tour on the inside here shortly. Oh, on this side, there's little windows. We don't have that on the other side. Seems kind of empty in here, though. It's just a big open space. I feel like there should be windows on the other side. I don't know what happened there, but really cool overall i'm happy with the build oh some unfinished stairs here so maybe there was a plan to like do an interior but there doesn't seem to be one here let's head back outside i do kind of want to just like get on this ship and like walk around a little bit so i think that's what i'm gonna do here so let's hop over here and currently i'm in spectator mode so we'll do slash game mode and go into creative and then I can plop down on the deck of the ship nice oh and some more copycat panels I guess he's making like pretty good use of that oh more copycat panels some stairs and he's using Okram okay that's interesting like hmm Maybe Akram. I mean, it looks it looks good. I'm I'm happy with it, but maybe it's not the prettiest block, but it works for the build. It's nice. It looks good. Like the overall build looks really nice. Okay, here we just have some barrels with trap doors. Nothing fancy. I do like the use of like the stripped uh, wood and the texturing. Oh, are these more? Yeah, these are more copycat steps. Wow, yeah, some good use of that. I, I guess it like really adds to 
yeah, how rounded you can make things and whatnot. So that's really cool. Ooh, look at these logs. I love the use of the ladder here to kind of, you know, strap down the logs fully. Usually that's not, I mean, it's never done in vanilla, right? So that's really cool. Looks really nice. I like that. Are these chests? No, the chests don't contain any items. That's kind of expected. Uh, it'd be kind of weird if it was full with stuff, I guess. Oh, I like the use of the iron ore here. Really cool, really nice. Oh, and now we can go inside. So I guess there is some interior here. Some more inventory space here, some barrels. More stairs. Oh, and there are some copycat panels to add a little bit more of detail here. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I like the metal girders in the ceilings with the lanterns. That's a nice touch. Oh, and up here we have some end rods hanging down from the metal girders. That's nice. Some more storage. That was pretty cool. And then, yeah, we have the new 0.5.1 brass doors here. That's pretty cool. I guess there is a, <laughs> a pressure plate I could use. Ooh, I like the chain between the end rods there. Some nice pipes <laughs> up in the ceiling here. That's kind of cool. I do want to check the inside, but I do want to go outside and just like do everything outside first. Ooh. Some spinning gears with some more pipe. None, none of this is functional, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, none of these actually go anywhere. They're just kind of connected randomly. That's still like, it's nice for decoration. So I do like it. It's really nice. Oh, and yeah, I guess this is chocolate. It's supposed to look like engine, like oil or fuel, I guess. Well, uh, I mean, I guess it could be either oil or fuel. Um, I'm, I'm not an expert at airship engines, of course. Uh, let's head back inside. Oh, are these? Yeah, these are actually trap doors. I'm surprised it wasn't using uh, copycat panels here, actually. Let's go and see what this is. So some more end rods, some more fluid pipe up there. Then we have some cobblestone stairs to make this nice little table where you can sit. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. Oh, and yeah, we have these like copper doors. Nice, nice. I like it. Okay, and in here, we just have a little table. No seat where I can sit and write though. Oh. And there's stairs here. Oh, I like the use of the copycat panels here. Like the stairs are like really narrow because of the copycat panels. Oh, that's cool. I never thought about like putting them on the inside like this. That's that's really neat actually. And the stairs, ooh, the stairs keep going up. So is there anything back here? Nothing here. Okay, let's, let's set up. Subscribe to Uber Sui. <laughs> I did not ask for that. So I just, I told them that I had a uh, YouTube channel. So I guess they put that in there as a surprise. Well, thank you. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone watching, make sure to subscribe. Oh man, so much stuff. More end rods. Oh, mechanical arms. And this one is dancing. So... If you didn't know, if you put, if you have a mechanical arm that puts like a, a disc inside a jukebox, it will start dancing. So I think, yeah, I can take the disc out and he stops. And then I guess if I put it here, maybe, oh, no, there he goes. He'll grab it and then put it in the jukebox. And now mechanical arm will start dancing. So that's really neat. Uh, maybe I'll turn the music off for now. We don't need that. Uh, a little cuckoo clock. And this is like the command center or the command deck. What do you call it? I forgot what you call it on an airship. Or like maybe like a spaceship. But I guess this is the commanding officer who sits here. Or I mean the, well, no, the captain. I guess it's the captain that sits here. And uh, 
they can oversee everything that's going on with their ship. And they have all these uh, train controls here to control the airship. I mean, it's really cool. It would be nice if it was assembled and you had the actual levers, but this is fine. This is really nice. And uh, yeah, some use of the radial chassis here, I see. That's really cool. And here's like a vault. Yeah, with item vaults. Ooh, and oh, all oh my gold. All oh my gold. Oh, I like to use the copycat panels here to add some, yeah, some more dimensions, like the step here and the, yeah, this copycat panel here. That's really neat. I am super happy with this build. I mean, for $40 and a turnaround of two weeks, this, this is a pretty good build. So do let me know in the comments below what you think of this build. And I also want to give you guys this discount code that will give you 10% off your next order at Fiverr. The discount code is ubersweet10. And remember, no matter if it's an airship in Minecraft or a great looking YouTube thumbnail, you can find someone to help you with pretty much anything on Fiverr. All the sellers mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. And I've also uploaded the schematic for this airship if you'd like to import it into your own world. That will also be in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.